Hello, Richard and everybody. Still got quite a sore hand. It actually hurts a bit more today than this yesterday because now it's still a bit swollen. I don't know if you can see it, but it is a little bit swollen. Um, I had a text message from the person with the iPads and I was really, really cross and said to them, like, I'm going to call the police on you if I don't see anything soon. Um, but they wrote back to me that the kids, or one of the kids had become ill, so that's why they didn't go. And uh, that's still popping in the mail to me tomorrow. Give me a tracking number. So I said, fine. But make sure I'll get that tracking number and that I receive the thing. If not, I will take this further with the police. Because um, uh, you have been very, very rude, not giving me any contact. Every time I call them, there was no answering on the phone. So I have, like, really big doubts about what's going to happen if, they, if I'm going to receive a packaging number tomorrow or if I'm actually going to receive them. But in case I don't do, I will contact the police. These two fingers here, the thumb and the point finger is fine. Those three other ones are a little bit... Can't move them that much, so I think I just sprained them, but anyways, it's fine. Um, I'm not going to go into the hospital because I know nothing is broken because yesterday I could just bend them completely and I could feel everything felt fine. And if I go to the hospital, I sit like wait for like three or four hours and all they're going to do is put a silly band-aid on. Go home, relax your hand. Okay, great. Spent four or five hours up there. Um, but right now, me and Sebastian are just sitting here looking because I like to get a bicycle. Um, I like to do some biking and stuff. And we found this one. It was really, really awesome. I don't know what the size is going to be of mine, but they got different sizes. But if you look at this, it's called the Scott Aspect 650. And it's about 4,000 Danish kroner. So um, I'm going to try and save up for that. I really like it. It has um, like disc brakes front and back. Got, um, I think it's 24 gears. And... Um, yeah, uh, it looks really, really nice. I like the color scheme as well. I'm not buying it just for the color scheme. I like it because it looks like a good bike, and it's a 2013 model. And it says it's a very good uh, bike price-wise and also for a new uh, mountain bike. I am brand new, and I just want something which is nice and reliable. And uh, I like the fact that it has the lockout, which means you can... And uh, some of you guys probably know, but if you got, like, here, uh, the shocks in the front, you can actually just click a little button and it'll lock it, so... It won't go up and down anymore if you go like on a main road, you don't need that. But for forest ride, you do. Me and Sebastian are actually talking about we want to try and make our own longboard. Um, the actual deck. Um, well, you talked me into it. <laughs> He's want to make one, but he said, Michael, you got to do one as well. Yes. So I'm gonna, we're going to try and find out what materials to use. A lot of people say that we should only use maple, but it's very far, hard to find in Denmark, and I'm sure it's not cheap. And some people use birch, but I haven't. Ow, I can't even put my hand in my pocket. That um, the birch will snap too easily. Uh, maybe not with Sebastian, but definitely me because I'm heavier. I think I'm about 10, 15 kilos heavier than Sebastian. I mean, he's not very old, but he's a chunky little thing like I was as a kid. Hello. You said old. Get off. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. <laughs> a lot of you guys also uh, wrote about uh, primitive decks. And you said that P-Rod and blah, 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 blah. Um, just to let you guys know that, yes, primitive um, shoes and all that has it, but there's nothing called primitive decks. So Ara do actually have the rights to use it because that's a full name, Primitive Decks, LTD. Um, so that's a full name for that. He doesn't just call it primitive like P-Rod has, uh, Paul Rodriguez. What are you doing, Sally? Are you playing with Sebastian? Are you playing with Sebastian? <laughs> She's molting terrible. She's losing a lot of hair, so we got to Hoover again tomorrow because there's hair everywhere. You silly, silly little baby. She loves cuddles. She loves being all mega fuss of. <laughs> you sweet little thing. I'm working on my web shop. Sebastian know that. I'm gonna just um, finish it up. I'm gonna sell some of my decks, and hopefully, if I can sell enough fingerboards, I can get to buy my bicycle within too long, so I can get some exercise and I can go start enjoying a oh. bike ride. Yeah, you hit the sally bird. So, so that's going to be hopefully sold some decks. I'm also going to start make some split plies um, with different colors. But I'm going to just make one deck at a time and put them up on the side. And whoever comes to first and buys it gets it. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the medium shape on those because the medium shape is awesome. It really is nice. Um, both me and Sebastian ride it now and we like it. Ow! Get off. <laughs> but now I can't finger walk because my bloody hand. I actually, I actually did... Um, uh, Nully tray flip with my switch hand. That yellow there is beautiful. 
and the blue as well. So I'm going to probably slice this veneer up here and make some nice split plies with this um, if I feel up to it a little bit later. Depending if I can hold a knife with my hand, we'll see. Um, can you tell we're quite bored right now? <laughs> so, Sebastian just took his bicycle and went home. Um, he's got to go home and see his parents. He's got some holiday, but uh, he also wants to spend some time with his family, which is great. And, um, yeah. So it's been great having you Nina, and uh, we had a lot, a lot of fun together. We usually always do. Um, sometimes we can be a bit bored because can't keep finding out stuff to do. But normally we have a lot of fun. Yeah, I sound a bit weird now because I just, um, you know, I have a piercing my nose. Um, unfortunately, uh, last week I fell asleep and the thing fell out. I have like a little metal stud which isn't to keep the hole open, and it fell out and. Uh, I didn't notice it was fell out. Sometimes I go without days without touching it, so I don't even think. And I found out it fell out and fell under the bed. So the hole has closed or got smaller again. So I had to re-stretch it. And that hurt like a mofo. This is my switch hand. I normally arrive with this hand, but as I have a bruising now, it hurts. Can you guys actually see that if I do this here? Can you see the difference on my hand? Like that. And this one is a lot more swollen down here than this. See it? I don't know if you do, but it feels a lot more swollen, definitely. Um, let's see if I can do a trick um, with my my left hand. Oh, it was a naughty train flip. Sketch landing. <sighs> Just gonna sit and relax a little bit and feel all the pain in my nose and feel all the pain in my hand. Lovely. Just had Sally out for an evening walk. Um, that was nice, really, really nice. It's quite warm out tonight, uh, even though it's a little bit windy, but it was a great walk, and uh, she enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it. <laughs> um, about my website, which I'm gonna be selling my decks on, guys, uh, it's gonna be with PayPal only, just so you guys know. Uh, it's shipping worldwide, and I will put up a couple of decks each time. So when they're sold out, I'm gonna put some more up, so you will uh, have a picture of the exactly decked, uh, sorry, the exact deck which has been sold. So I won't be like posting different sizes and all that, um, so you guys can have a look and see if you like it or not. I'm also going to be doing some special edition, um, not special edition, but one edition of split plies. There's only going to be one of each split ply I'm going to be finishing up. Sorry, it's a little bit rough here. That's why I'm bumping my arm up and down. Um, but I have decided that I'm going back to the name Micahs. Um, I think Silly Dex was all right, but silly. Um, it's more like my YouTube channel. And um, my YouTube channel is vlogs. It's not really only just fingerboarding that's vlogging um, it's my life where it happens to be that fingerboarding is sometimes a big part of it and sometimes you don't see it for a little while so I think I'm gonna change it around to what it usually was my original name was Micah's fingerboard and um, yeah it's gonna go back to that guys just so you know <laughs> so those of you who got a silly deck now wow you got limited edition <laughs> So uh, it's been a boring day for you guys to watch, I'm quite sure, and I do apologize for that. But uh, again, the Sundays, I used to make like a Lazy Sunday vlog. Um, I mean, Shay Carl did at one point. It's different now because he's like so into vlogging, but he used to do those one take Sundays sometimes just to have a little break. And also being making videos every day is, is fun and uh, it's challenging to find something to record and also try to and, and be interesting. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like, oh my God. I feel like I'm letting you guys so much down by shitting out videos, but it's, there's no content at all. It's just so boring sometimes. I mean, when I edit my videos, I say, oh my gosh, is that really all I did today? Dang it. <laughs> but um, you guys are still very, very supportive, which is really great. And uh, we are getting so close to 8,000 subscribers, guys. I can't believe it. And 8,000 subscribers also mean another Black Red giveaway. And it could be fun if we actually hit it on Wednesday, um, if I hit the 8,000 on Wednesday, because that will mean that we hit both my monthly giveaway and also my um, Black Rear giveaway on the same time. Alright guys, um, I just want to say that I love you all, you're awesome and epic, hope you had a great, great weekend. Um, I've been okay, except for my hand. <laughs> so, um, I'll see you tomorrow, take good care, good night! And don't hit the bit box bite. <laughs>